What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another weekend freight where I'm going to cover the nation and find the freight. If you find the high freight volume areas, you will find the high freight rate areas. Uh, where I would like to start on this is the national load count. And uh, if you look over here, like Alabama, for example, showing 1,214 loads going in and only 751 needed to come out. That shows you there's gonna be more trucks going in than trucks needed to come out. So with that little offset right there, it's not a good idea. Like California, oh, California's looking good. Georgia's looking good. Idaho, and you get the picture. I guess you can so you get the point. <laughs> All right, guys, well, the real nuts and bolts of this video is right here where I'm gonna cover the nation and I'm gonna go into the different freight hubs around the nation and we're gonna get a load count and um, we're gonna start with Los Angeles. And I like to do 120 mile radius, just give you about a good two, two and a half hours to get there. Uh, today is the fourth and it is 1.29 p.m. I'm getting a little late start at this, but we'll see. Let's see what this freight, what it looks like just for the day. Even though it's a little late. It should have done this at 8 o'clock this morning. Ah, uh, but still looking good. 4,200 loads in the California market right now. And on this little line here, it gives you all the stuff that you, if you want to critique it. For example, this is my favorite offer. This shows the brokers that's putting an offer on the uh, on the loads. Like this $100,000 load right here. So you better call fast. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, that load right there. Los Angeles to Albuquerque, uh, it's probably a thousand dollars, maybe two thousand. I don't know, but that's a fat thumb right there. They just do that to get your attention. That's bro brokers playing, just playing games with you. Uh, let's see, Ontario to Harrisburg for sixteen. Uh, full van load, fifty-three foot round trip back to Cali. So eight out, eight back. Uh, I guess that might be decent. I don't know. I ain't run uh, cross country in a while. Let's see. Look at this one right here. Let's see, first 15 pounds, second delivery. So they got two deliveries, but for $12,000. Uh, 10,000, 10,000. Anyway, you get the gist, guys. There's a lot of freight over there. Uh, and what I'm doing right here is if you click on this right here, it brings up the details on the load, and you can look, see what, the, what kind of comments and notes that the broker put in there. Like that $16,000 load right there, it's a round trip. Uh, picks up tomorrow uh, round trip to PA and back to Cali for sixteen thousand dollars So let's see that's twenty five thousand uh, That's a little over three dollars a mile cross country and back so I'm just gonna go on a whim here and say uh, that's good rate So let's check out the NorCal area. Uh, I like to go with Tracy And I'm gonna bump this up 200 miles that way we can get to Sacramento Sacramento area and the Bay Area and everything in between us uh, NorCal is looking at 1500 loads that's pretty good for NorCal it's a lot better than when I used to run out there uh, $9,000 loads coming back to Sarasota over three dollars a mile right there so nice looking good let's uh, shoot up to the extreme Northwest and let's check out Portland that's just uh, Seattle Seattle, Washington. And guys, I forgot to say, but if you like what I'm showing you here, in the comments or the uh, <laughs> in the description, uh, there's a link where you can try this out for free for 30 days and uh, let it show you its worth. And I promise you, you're gonna keep it because uh, I've been using it now for uh, since 2017. Wouldn't uh, do business without it. Uh, free is free and don't haul cheap with that tool. Uh, no matter what lane you're in, whether you're familiar with it or not, you will have the competitive edge when dealing with these brokers. Uh, also, the ELD I use is Keep Trucking. There's a link down there if you need that. Uh, I've had a lot of people sign up with that. And also, the factoring company I choose to use is Trap Business Capital. Uh, there's a link down there as well. Uh, click on that link, and the number is in the web on the website. It takes you to a guy named Mac. Tell Mac I sent you and uh, tell him you want a good factoring rate for your freight loads. Anyways, let's get back to this. Sorry for that little commercial. Let's see, where was I at? Seattle? Yeah, Seattle. Uh, Seattle's coming in with 967 loads. They got $8,000 going back to Connecticut and Brooklyn. And they got some good freight. Eh, pretty decent. I mean, it's better than what you're going to get coming out, uh, but it's going to pay good going up. I might need to book me a load up there. 
<laughs> looking good, guys. Looking good. I love I love it when the markets are strong. Kansas City. Come on, man. You ain't going to auto field without that city in there? Kansas City. What are you a got? Kansas coming in with... 435 exact loads that just means it's within that 120 mile radius but outside it there's a lot more freight uh probably 130 140 i don't know what their parameters are but close by let's go to st louis st louis what kind of freight do y'all got coming in with 846 loads uh double than st kansas city so that's about normal looking good Let's drop down to the Dallas market. Dallas, Texas. What you got, Lone Star? 1,217, so looking good in that market as well. 1,217 loads. Let's check out the Houston market. What do you have? Do you have liftoff? 1,217 versus 14, so they're a little behind. Uh, no. What was I saying? What was? Hold on. Oh, wrong button. Anyway. 1,432 loads in the Houston market. Let's shoot over to the Atlanta market. Atlanta. Atlanta's coming in strong. Come on, strong, strong, strong. 1,320. Could be better, uh, but that's pretty good. Let's see what cross country Atlanta to California. See if there's any on the market here. Come on now. Let's see, seven thousand dollars. It's been averaging. Look at that, guys. Uh, shows you that, like what I said in the beginning of the video. There's more trucks, uh, or more loads going in than trucks needed to come out. Or yeah, back that up. You get what I'm saying. I'm looking at all these people going around here, and they're confusing me. <laughs> um, there's a lot more loads going into Georgia right now, or a lot less loads and loads needed to come out. So that four, bait. I might have just stuck my foot in my mouth. Yeah, they want a van with a team on it. So scratch that one. Let's go to this one. Man with a team. All right, here we go. It's done canceled. Uh, so they done moved it. Somebody got it. 5,000. It's been 62. Stop in Spokane, Washington. Oh, that's going to Oregon. Never mind. That's not Cali. See, here I am sticking my foot in my mouth. Get to talking about stuff. So the 15 day average on this has been $4,000. Uh, that's a big negatory there, little buddy. Um, 43 isn't even a negatory. I'm going 700 miles and getting $3,200 uh, here shortly. So cross country for that, negative, negative, negative. All right, let's move on. Let's shoot down to Savannah Market. I like the Savannah Market because if you run down into Florida, a lot of times it pays to deadhead out and come up to the savannah market or even the atlanta market and get a load and um it just pays more than coming out of florida most cases uh 509 loads so there's freight down there in savannah let's shoot up to columbia columbia shakakalaki coming in with we gotta hurry up man it's getting hot in this truck 1261 loads nice it's getting hot in here because I try not to idle the truck when I'm doing these. Well, that's wrong. Wrong one. Yeah, because um, the noise of the truck and the mic, it just picks it all up. And, oh, my God, it just gives you a damn headache. Let's see, 1,220 loads in the Charlotte market. Looking good. Let's shoot over to the Nashville market. Really? No auto feel there. Auto feel coming in with uh, 860 in the Nashville market. And let's check out the Memphis market. Memphis, what you got? Can you beat Nashville? Yes, you can with 1,038 loads. So the Memphis market is looking good. Now let's shoot all the way up to Allentown. Oh, well. Let me get woke up. Allentown, PA, coming in with 300 or 3,363 loads. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. There's plenty of loads up there in that northeast. Let's shoot back over to Indianapolis. No, let's check out Columbus. Columbus Market. 2,045 loads. 
considering what time it is, it's pretty good. So 2045 for Columbus. Let's check out the Indianapolis market. I don't think they're going to beat them. I'm almost going to go on a guess, say 1400. Don't prove me wrong. Damn. <laughs> 2144. So Indianapolis market is strong. Let's shoot up to the St. Paul, Minneapolis area. Then we have to finish this out with Chicago. So St. Paul, Minneapolis is right there at 800 mark, and that's a good that's a good number for them. That's a good number. Great. Chicago coming in. See if you guys got King of Freight. 3,200, pretty damn strong, pretty damn strong. Let's just see what this is. 5,000 to Oregon. It's over $2 a mile. I don't want none of it. Ooh, I'd like this right here. I was about to take a load to, not necessarily as far up as Milwaukee, but uh, it was right past Madisonville, or Madison, maybe about 100 miles, so it's pretty close. Might have been a good run. Ocala's not too far down in. <laughs> too far down in Florida. All right, guys, if you're still hanging around, man, I appreciate you. Give me a big old thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Consider subscribing, maybe. Even if uh, I'm just getting lost all over the place, man. Y'all got a lot going on here. <laughs> yeah, uh, give me a subscribe if you like this sort of thing. And guys, uh, let me know in the comments what kind of rates you guys seeing. Uh, I got a video I'm about to drop on the on probably tomorrow where everybody's talking about the rates are garbage and uh man I'm, I'm everybody i'm talking to uh well i say everybody everybody in the comments is saying the rates are garbage but all my friends seem like everybody's you know knocking them out of the ballpark uh i'm doing pretty good i came to the house and uh running four uh three and four dollars a mile and uh easy runs so anyways guys catch you in that next video see you bye